joined now by the goal scorer for the Chetwin Midget Giants. Had four goals between the two games this weekend. Liam Beatty and uh, Liam, first of all, thank you for taking the time to chat with us here today. No worries. All right. Well, you guys are playing up in a higher level of midget hockey than you did last season. Doesn't seem to be affecting you one bit. I believe you've got 26 goals now on the year. Uh, what <laughs> are you doing that is going so right for you out there? I don't know, I'm just burying my chances. My line mates really helped me set up in their zone, and we just, puck goes in lately, it's nice. Uh, unfortunately, you guys weren't able to pick up the victory here this afternoon. You did pick up a win last night, a split weekend against the same club. What was the biggest difference between the two games? We just didn't have the same effort today. Our first period was horrible, and but our, we came out in the second, tried to come back, but you just can't win with 40 minutes of hockey. Seemed like a bit of a short bench for you guys here today. You didn't have the uh, affiliate call-up players like you did in the lineup yesterday. Uh, in a situation like that where it gets you into the game a little more often, is it nice to get that extra ice time, or does it feel uh, a little bit like you guys are a bit tired by the time it's all over? Well, it's nice to have them come up. They work pretty hard, and we got a lot of penalties, so that didn't help either. So it would have been nice to have them today. Penalties uh, seem to tell the story here this afternoon. The special teams, the big difference is the Fairview Knights able to pick up a bunch of power play goals, and you guys went over on the man advantage for the second straight game. Where do you need to improve when you have the extra skater out there? Uh, we just need to set up in their zone a lot better and not rush it. we got to put it more around the net and set up there. Finally, I will ask you uh, on that final goal that you guys scored in the third period. The official scoring summary works out as being a Colton Golder goal from Case Gonzalez. We thought up in the booth that you touched that puck before it went back to Colton. Do you feel that you got hosed on an assist there? Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, though. We got the goal. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> well, Liam Beatty is certainly having a season to remember. 26 goals in 22 games for this young man. Thank you so much for joining us here today, and good luck next time. Yeah, thank you. Justin Moore sat inside the Midget Giants dressing room after an afternoon where uh, I'm sure they would have liked a bit of a better result. Joined now by the captain of the Chetwin Midget Giants, Cordell Llewellyn. And first of all, Cordell, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. No problem. Well, you guys uh, had a tremendous result last night, a 3-1 victory over the Fairview Knights. Unable to keep that going here this afternoon, falling 6-3. to What was the biggest difference between the two games? Well, uh, last night we got the victory. Tonight's loss. Um, we didn't play like we could have. We could have played a lot better. Just get our feet moving and stuff, and we hope to be a better game next time. Game got a little bit chippy, particularly in the third period. Lots of big hits being thrown by both sides. Do you like it when the game has a little bit more of a physical flavor to it? Yeah, well, that's my style of hockey anyways, is physical. And as we're getting frustrated as a team and starting to not think smart, and yeah, so... You guys uh, unable to connect on the man advantage this weekend or 0 for 5 last night and 0 for 5 again this afternoon. Is the power play something you want to take a bit of a look at as you go forward here? Yeah, for sure. We've been working on it every practice and trying to come together, but it doesn't seem like it's coming any good, so I think we should try something different. All right. Well, it was uh, certainly a, a spirited effort for you. You guys made it interesting in the third period on a nice goal by Colton Golder there, but just unable to... Uh, bang it home and uh, make it a little bit closer down to in the tail end of it. You guys still competed, however, throughout the entire game, even uh, when it looked a little bit out of reach. Is a full 60-minute effort still important to you, even in a game like that that seems like it's uh, gone by the wayside, as it were? Yeah, for sure. We had our chances, but that goalie, he seemed like he was on his toes tonight. Uh, just couldn't seem to find one, put one in the net.